Here are the directions for formative two. It's over the standard RI 8.6. Okay, so um, before each section, you'll find a box and it tells you what to do for that section. Okay, so um, as you read, when you identify the author's perspective, so what is the author saying parents should do to help their kids become independent? Then you need to highlight that in yellow. When you see the counterclaim, which is what parents are doing that prevent their kids from becoming independent, then you need to highlight that in light blue. Okay, so you need to insert three comments that connect with the yellow highlights. Okay, that tell us what the parents are doing to help their kids become independent. Then you need to highlight or you need to make one comment that connects with the blue highlight about what parents are doing that prevent their kids from becoming independent. So the comments are showing your thoughts, your own thoughts. Okay, so again, you need to have four highlights through here and you need to have four comments. Okay, how do you insert comments? Well, you can highlight a section and you see this little plus sign here. When I hover over it, it says add comment. I click it and it opens up a box to type a comment. Okay, you can also, instead of clicking that plus button, you can come up here in the toolbox and hit insert, scroll down a comment and hit that and it opens up the same box. Okay, and then you can type in your comment. All right. Second part, you have uh, six pieces of evidence here. Now you want to highlight four of these in yellow that show, uh, I'm sorry, you need to highlight two of these in yellow that show um, what parents should do or is talking about how to help kids become independent. Four of these are going to be highlighted in light blue, and that's showing how parents are preventing their kids from becoming independent. Okay, so two in yellow, four in blue. For part C here, you're going to highlight the answer. Okay, so if I thought this answer was D, I'd highlight D. If I thought it was B, I'd highlight B. Okay, so you're just picking out the answer. Okay, so when you get down here, um, then you are writing an objective summary. Okay, so when you get down here, you're writing an objective summary. And that's just telling me what happened in the article. Okay, and okay, I had to double check. For this specific test, I actually decided that you didn't have to do the objective summary, okay, because we ran out of time to do it in class. So you don't necessarily have to do this part, um, but you need to be sure you do parts A, B, and C, okay, and that's it.